So by this point, we all know that Nicolas Cage is in Dead by Daylight. But the question is, why? And I don't mean why in real life terms. I mean, canonically, what's the lore behind Nicolas Cage entering the fog? Please, let's just stop for a moment. T take a deep breath and, and think about what we're actually doing here. So I did a little bit of digging. On the initial cutscene, you can see an abandoned movie set. And then there's an in-game voice line that he has, which is something similar of, I shouldn't have taken that movie. Take the card. It's a good movie, he says. What's the worst thing that can happen? So you kind of get a grasp immediately that some sort of filming incident happened and he ended up in the fog. The lore got a little bit more confusing once I read his character info. The initial assumption that he took a movie role and ends up in the fog is correct. And in fact, the movie was called Descend Beyond. It looks like it starts real early because it talks about him getting the script and falling in love with it. And then it also mentions that he basically gets this like trance like want to be involved in the movie. Like he can see himself in his mind doing the incantation at the altar. He could see himself like writing with blood on the wall. But then when it actually gets to him going to do the film, it talks about how his agent is basically saying there's some questionable financers behind it. Nicolas Cage doesn't want to hear that, though. He doesn't care if there's financers behind it that are questionable. He really doesn't care about anything, to be honest. Which goes back to our little trance kind of deal, where it's like, okay, what's going on with this script and the backers and everything of that nature, and why does he not care? Once he gets onto the island that they're doing the filming at, He's met with a woman named Pauline Stamper, and this is where my questions kind of expanded more because I want to know Stamper's role in this. It seems initially like if I was from the get-go going to be like, oh, well, Stamper's obviously involved in his kidnapping to the fog. Maybe it's similar to like Dredge's Island and everything where there's a person who's wanting people sacrificed. But once you read further, actually, that question is like, is she involved? So I'm an absolute idiot, and this is inserted in because I didn't realize until afterwards, but for some reason I didn't connect their last names. It puts more questions on Pauline. Anyways, back to my rambling. And the reason I say is she is because she doesn't want to film immediately after she shows him the set. She's like, no, we can do it in the morning. And Nicholas is basically like, no, we have to do this now. It could be a ruse by Stamper. Maybe it's all like a facade and, and she's just playing him, but he's obsessed with this film. Furthermore, they actually gather the team and the set and do the filming, which once again is another question of mine, which is why are we actively filming if this is all just to kidnap Nicolas Cage? Unless you really have to convince him that it's a, a true movie. But from the looks of it, you did not because his agent had to convince him to take money to even do the role. So my other thought is that potentially the financers behind the movie were even conning Stamper and like the crew. And it was basically a big ruse for everybody involved. I mean, the lore says that it's red paint and he starts writing on the walls, which begin this like kind of ceremony that actually takes him into the fog that seems very non-intuitive right like you would think that, like blood would have to be involved in that ceremony so maybe the red paint was just what he thought it was but in reality it was blood provided by stamper which kind of puts her more as like the villain in this situation like absolutely she has to be part of the reason why he's here but if you look at it further and it actually is red paint and you think about it from that side potentially it could just be that nicholas's role was so convincing that even the entity was fooled and took him from this area because they were like oh he's riding in blood like how would they know it's not actually i would think the entity would just know but i'm not entirely sure it begs the question further of like why exactly would you pick Nicolas Cage. Why would the backers be like, this is the guy we have to kidnap and we have to take? It just doesn't make a lot of sense. Unless they were just basically going for any actor at that point, and they're like, okay, we'll send this script to a ton of actors, and when they actually read it, they'll be convinced, right? Like, at that point, they're gonna be like, oh, okay, we have to take the role. So it's basically like, does an actor read it? I don't know. It's confusing because I don't know if they would have a good reason to actually take Nicolas Cage, which once again pushes the fact that this film is probably a trap. Like it's not like a happenstance, ignorance is bliss kind of deal. Like he was obviously tricked by someone. The question is, 
Was he tricked by Stamper or was he tricked by the backers and including Stamper possibly could be tricked as well. It'd be interesting and it would be easy to answer that if we ended up getting Pauline Stamper in the trials as well. That would make it look like, okay, she's also not part of this. She thought that they were making a film and in reality, they weren't. Anyways, I'd love to hear what you all think about it. And if y'all have uncovered anything else further in the lore uh, around Nicolas Cage, maybe his voice lines that maybe I've missed or something. But let me know in the comments if you have. Besides that, I hope you all enjoy your day. Peace.